Hello everybody and welcome to another video from Conservation Land Services. It's now the early part of August and at this time of year when the Japanese knotweed is starting to come into flower I thought it might be useful to show you uh, some Russian vine that's in flower at the same time of year and it can be possibly easily confused for um, Japanese knotweed. Um, so let me just turn the camera around so we can start looking at this Russian vine that's in flower. So here we are. You can see, just like Japanese knotweed, at this time of year it comes out in this rather lovely cream, cream flower. And if we just zoom in a little, and you can see here. But the thing to look for is while one it's not self-supporting. Japanese knotweed is self-supporting. You know, it, it stands up on its own. Uh, Russian vine just smothers everything, as you can see here. Uh, it's just taking over. But also, when you have a look at the leaf, you've got these little earlobes on the leaf. Now, with um, uh, Japanese knotweed, you get a flat leaf. So let me just pause this for a okay. second. So what I've done is I've taken the earlobes off, if you like, from the and tried to make it more a flat leaf. So try and make that point that I'm trying to make is the um, Japanese knotweed, you get a, a flat bottom to the leaf, flat across. You don't get, as you have here, quite a distinct, almost like earlobe, do you see, to that? But the key thing is just to be aware that uh, if you see a dramatic show of white blossom, uh, cream blossom at this time of year, don't do think to yourself, well, it might be Japanese knotweed, uh, but be aware that Russian vine uh, is also in blossom at this time of year and can be easily confused if you're not careful. But the key thing is uh, knotweed um, is self-supporting on distinct stems, and has that flat bottom leaf with a heart-shaped leaf, whereas Russian vine is, uh, like most vines, it smothers. It doesn't stand on its own, and it's quite distinct. Uh, for more information, go to www.conservationlandservices.co.uk. Thank you very much. 